which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to pose a question to you. How do I make a video about one word? One word. Now, if it's from the Holy Spirit, and if it's a powerful word, and being from the Holy Spirit, it's always in truth. I do not believe I have ever been given a more powerful one word message, ever. Every dream I have ever been I have ever been given has been about America or involved America. And when I was shown a worldwide catastrophic event, such as like an asteroid crashing into, the, into an ocean, the focus of my dreams has always been about America, what involved America. Now I know there's much more to the world than America. And I am not saying that America is special or above any other country, but what God has is a special judgment laid out for America. And that is why my dreams and visions all seem to involve America. And I am reminded that to whom much is given, much is expected. America has become a cesspool of filth and abomination and has influenced the whole world to join her abominations. The stench of this sin has reached the nostrils of God. So now God acts. On August 18th, 2018, I was sleeping and the Holy Spirit came to me in a dream. I never saw anyone. I never saw a figure or a face, but I know the voice of the Holy Spirit because he has spoken to me on many occasions. I felt at peace. I felt love. I felt safe and secure being, being near the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit only spoke one word. And that word was tekel. T-E-K-E-L. Then the dream ended. When I woke up, I knew that word was from the book of Daniel. So I looked it up. The full message that was written on the Babylonian palace wall by the very hand of God was... Meanie, meanie, tickle, you far sin. When the king of Babylon saw this message being written by the hand of God on his palace walls, he, his knees began to knock together in fear. And this is the interpretation. Emmy, any, God hath numbered the kingdom and finished it. Perez, P-E-R-E-S. Thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Tekel, T-E-K-E-L, thou art weighed in the balances and found wanting. Remember, America is Babylon. America has been weighed and found wanting. And just like ancient Babylon, which was destroyed in one night, America also, also shall be destroyed in one night, in one hour. I told you that the Holy Spirit has been bringing up my old dreams and visions and refreshing them, reminding me of missing details, so that I would then I would be prompted to make a video about my old dreams. And like the King of Babylon, you have been warned. On that very night, the handwriting appeared on the palace walls, the Medes and the Persians, they snuck through the walls of the Babylonian uh, uh, fortress. And that night, Babylon the Great fell without a fight. The king of Babylon and his court were all slain that very night. Now God is sending signs, warnings everywhere. In the moon, 
the sun, the stars, and the earth, the seasons, the weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, even our economy, our rulers, our laws, society. Everywhere you look, you see signs of the soon return of Jesus Christ to rapture his faithful off this dying world. Yes, God is about to destroy Babylon again, but this Babylon is America. America will fall and America will never rise again. I have seen it and I was told this many times. Read Jeremiah 51, Revelation 18 and see that this is America that God is talking about. And just like ancient Babylon, our days are numbered. Now is the time to humble yourself before Almighty God, repent of sin, and beg the blood of Jesus to wash all your sin away, to wash you clean, to make you white as snow. And then to beg Jesus to enter into your heart, to lead you and to guide you every step of the way, and to give you a new heart. No, we are not promised tomorrow. My prayer and my only goal is to be pleasing to God. I care not about money. I care not about money in the bank. I care not about fancy cars or fancy homes, not even jet airplanes. I see these things as just trappings of the world to pull us away from Jesus Christ. The only one who can truly save anyone from what is shortly to come upon this dying world. I am just an old beat up, disabled, Vietnam era veteran who God touched, who God blessed with dreams and visions, who God asked to give you a warning. I lay not my treasure up on this, on, in this world, but I lay my treasure up in heaven where moth or rust cannot destroy. Where do you lay your treasure up? Now is the time to not deny Jesus in any way. And I beg you to carry your Bible everywhere you can. Say the blessing over every meal that you eat and repent of sin every time you pray because sin is in everything. We are so close. We are so very close to going home. Then there is no safety in anything of this earth. The only way to survive what is soon to come is to not be here as in being raptured. That is our salvation, that is our safety, and that is the promise of God to save his remnant off this dying world before the catastrophe hits, before the Medes and the Persians come crashing through the gates. God bless you, and God keep you, and yours, in his loving arms, just like he held me. And if you hear the sound of my voice, Bobby and I, we pray for you and your family with much love and more grace from above. Amen. And I want to remind you that I am still building water filters and I'm still shipping them out for free to anyone who asks. And if you're interested in a free water filter, just see the comments section below this video for details. And for a limited time only, uh, at least up until December 31st, all of the uh, premium water filters uh, paid for by donation they will be made with the clear water filter containers. These are the uh, clear see-through water filters, and this is our way of saying thank you, uh, a gift or a bonus from us, if you will. At one time I offered these, uh, what I call Marinescape water filters, but, but no more. Uh, but I have a bunch of these clear plastic pails that I, I build the water filters with, so uh, I wanna use them up and ship them out as a premium water filters. So now you can get one for a donation for a premium water filter. God bless you. God keep you. You and yours safe. Is our prayer. Amen.